Attention all boomerites. Listen, I did it. There's a Muppet on the loose. Please use extreme caution when watching this video. Hey there, boomerites. What's happening? We are back with Benidorm Reactions Season 3. Uh, usually when I end a season of a show, uh, lately since I got so many shows that I'm reacting to, I usually take a break from it for a couple weeks. So, if you guys have been missing the Benidorm Reactions, I apologize. But uh, it gives me time to catch up on other uh, shows that I'm reacting to. But the two weeks is up, so Benidorm Series 3. Now, I've noticed, because I watch these on YouTube, from the uh, people who are kind enough to upload these on YouTube, this is this episode of Season 3 is uh, twice as long. It's about 45 minutes. Usually Benidorm... Season 1 and 2 episodes are around like 22, 23 minutes, but this one's like 45 minutes, man. So, I, I guess they had their budget doubled at one point, or they just decided to make it uh, an hour-long show with commercials. I don't know. I, I don't know the background of it, but um, it's. Uh, I guess it's going to kind of feel like getting two episodes in one from here on out. Or if they change it back to half-an-hour episodes, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, some of you guys like to explain things to me, so I'm sure one of you guys can uh, inform me of, of what happened uh, in 2009, because that's what it says this was made. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get back into Benidorm reactions. I hope you guys enjoy them. And uh, I'll let you know what I think of the episode and the added length at the end of it. So remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and I'll see you in the reaction. Here we go. <laughs> Kind of loud. Drop it a little bit. That should be good. Welcome back to Benidorm, you Muppets. Great characters in the show. Though. Oh no, is she have, does she have mud butt again? You all right, Match? Do I look all right? Can I have a question on sport instead? Mom, come have a drink. We haven't got any, darling. We'll be setting off soon. Oh, it's too hot in here. Why don't they get the air conditioning going? Because they have to have the engines running for that. Why don't they start the engine, then? Have you any idea what toxic carbon emissions are doing to this world? Don't talk to me about toxic emissions. I was sat next to that child of yours on the plane. I was nearly sick. What do you mean by that? What do you think I mean? It's bad enough with your father sat there farting like a lodging house cat without Julio dropping one every 20 minutes. <laughs> I was so sick I could hardly see me hand in front of my face. His name's Coolio. Coolio, I love After Coolio. After this lot, that must be it. We've been here ages. Oh, okay. fancy bumping into you here. Hiya. You all right? We all ready for our fabulous free holiday? Oh, Christ, that's all we need, the bloody village people. Oh, damn. Keep moving down. You can hardly breathe in here as it is. See you later, love. Schnell, schnell, my fear has spoken. <laughs> you know, the the, the uh, heftier gay guy, he's... I, I wasn't... I, I don't think he's that funny of a character. But he does have his moments. That was one of them. But I do like the dynamic between him and his uh, boy, boyfriend, husband, wife, I don't know. But um, I do like having those guys around. Um, and it's nice to see the friendship, uh, the friendship that's developed between them and uh, Donald and Jacqueline, the two freaks. Uh, who, you guys, if you guys have watched the season two reaction, actions, know that I've... Uh, because of you guys and some of the comments that you said about how kind they are to other people, I, I have seen them in a new, new light. So I actually quite enjoy Donald and Jacqueline, even if they are a bit too freaky for me. Bloody hell. Look who it is. I didn't think they'd be back. Free holiday, isn't it? Can't say no to that, however posh you are. Oh, hello. All back again. Hopefully not such an eventful holiday this year. <laughs> I, uh... You weren't on our flight from Manchester, were you? Um, no, Gatwick, but we had a few problems with our luggage. That miserable wife of yours not still giving you the runaround, is she? 
Uh, not exactly. The last thing I need is to be looking at a sour gob round the pool while I'm trying to enjoy my holiday. <laughs> Gucci, and if they go missing again, I'll kick your bollocks so hard you'll be able to taste them. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, Jesus, I'm sweating like a rapist. There are no windows in this shitty. <laughs> what a comment! I'm sweating like a rapist. Oh. Okay, she's cool in my book already. She's she's fiery, and uh, with the, with the quick remarks, I like her already. And it's she's only been in the screen for ten seconds. But who are you? Do you mind with the language? There are kiddies present. Chill out, Grandma. It's supposed to be an holiday. Come on, Martin. The back seat's free. And before you ask, that's not an invitation for a quickie before we get there. <laughs> She's joking. <laughs> who is this? What happened to his wife? He's loving it. <laughs> She's got a point about the windows. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this kind of makes, this show has kind of made me want to uh, visit medical. Hey, what are you doing? I'm not doing out. You cannot reserve some beds with towers in the morning. What are you talking about? You have been here before, you know the rules. Oh, come on, don't be tight. You know how old my mum is? She needs a sunbed. I don't care if she's 100 years old. These are the rules, and if you don't like them, you can stay somewhere else. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I don't like you now. No. What I mean is, you really wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I really don't like you now. No, you don't understand. For the last year, I've been training under a ninja master. Oh, God. My mind and body have been finely chewed. Finely chewed by what? No, not finely chewed. Finely tuned. I think it's only fair to warn you. A bloke picked an argument with me at the airport. And I nearly killed him. This rivalry right here will never die. This rivalry will never die. I don't think I'll, we will ever see these two guys getting along on this show. And this rivalry is one of the reasons I like this show so much. It really is. I think it's one of the, if not the best part of the show. What did you do? Breathe on him? <laughs> Morning, Jeff. <laughs> Everything okay? It's this one. That old job's worth. And what seems to be the problem? You cannot reserve a sunbed with your towel. It's against the rules. Yes, he's quite right. We've been coming here for 20 years, and the rules categorically state you cannot reserve a sunbed with your towel. Thank you. Would you like to borrow our towels, Jeff? You're all right, I've got a towel. I... All right, yeah. yeah. Cheers. The nicest hey, freaks what? in the world. You can borrow ours. Yeah. And when I say freaks, I mean in like a freaky sexual way, not uh, like they're the hunchbacks of Notre Dame or anything. No. What are you doing? We are reserving our sunbeds with somebody else's towels. It's called a technicality. Us Brits have been winning by them for centuries. Breakfast, Jeff? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> We've been winning by technicalities for years. It's got a point. What's unbelievable is that? What's unbelievable about it? He's traded her in for a younger model. You want to keep your eye on that one. Won't be long before he starts looking for something similar. You're not exactly a spring chicken. <laughs> oh, oh damn. damn. Sure. My beautiful wife may no longer be a spring chicken, but at least she's got a while before she's like you. An oven ready turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Nana's a turkey. <laughs> Sit down, Michael, or I'll tell the bogeyman to come and get you while you're sleeping in your bed tonight. Bloody hell. What was that song them kids used to sing? There's no one quite like Grandma. Hey, talking in the bogeyman. When was the last time you spoke to Mel? 
I spoke to him before we got on the plane. Oh, I didn't actually speak to him. I sent him a text. A text? Who dragged you kicking and screaming into the 21st century? <laughs> that actually brings up an interesting point. Do you guys have fam elderly family members who have trouble texting uh, and dealing with modern technology? I mean, as a, a boomer myself, um, I, I have trouble with modern technology sometimes. I mean, Lord knows I had trouble getting this uh, new setup done correctly on my own. But uh, I'd like my father's one of them. And, uh, he, he still has trouble texting. The only thing he knows how to uh, program is his remote control to his television. And even that took months to figure out on his own. Uh, but texting, it's like sometimes I'll get things from him and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, Pops? You know, but I feel like we all have... I actually am surprised when there's an elderly person who knows how to use their phone uh as well as I do. So, maybe you guys have some experiences like that as well. I thought you just sent smoke signals. Bloody Holy hell. shit! I think you were exaggerating when you said 21st century. There's nothing on the screen. Does that mean he hasn't replied? Give us it here. No, you break that. It's worth a lot of money. To who? The Antiques Roadshow? <laughs> Battery's dead. She's broken Jesus. it. I knew Christ. she would. She's always been a lumpy, ham-fisted child, that one. That's a phone you'd see from less than zero uh, in Robert Downey Jr.'s holding it. Frick off! Mm. Oi, that's enough. Give it here! <laughs> Mum, how does the burgie man know how we've gone on holiday? He doesn't, darling. Come sit with me. I don't want to sit with you. I want to go on. What are you doing, you flaming idiot? It's in bits now. Check in the battery. You can't bear to see anyone with something you haven't got, can you? What would I want this for? A frigging doorstop? Tell Lenny and Anna your phone so she can phone Mel. Piss off. Piss off. Did you hear her? Then tell I me to piss off. On. Don't talk to your mother like that. You're not that big that right, I can't watch put your the tariff. Laugh and it's it's it. I need it. to know the tariff so I can not see if it's working properly. It's not working properly. Right, turn it off for me. It's like one of those sophisticated weekend breaks on the Orient Express, isn't it? I've got a lot of family who've been to Benador. I've heard some of the people can be as rough as a dog's ass. <laughs> You don't say. I'm Troy, this is Gavin. I'm Brandy, this is Martin. Yeah, we met Martin before, but you weren't together then, were you? <laughs> no, no, we're um, just friends. Right, friends. You're both gay, aren't you? Uh, yes. And you must be from the Merseyside chapter of the Sherlock Holmes Society. I love gay people, you know. Even though their lives are often filled with tragedy and personal loss. You know, all your friends dying from the AIDS and that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Wow! This is a wild character. Okay, we're throwing a screwball into the Benidorm season. Oh shit! Look at their faces. Like, oh my god! Oh wow! I'm of being persecuted and victimized just for being different. But despite all that, they're always happy and laughing, aren't they? <sighs> Well, we were. Well, we were! <laughs> Brilliant response. Damn. I've done it long. I ain't got much credit. Is it ringing, ma'am? That was rough. Work it out. Well, is there somebody there? Yeah, but she's just talking rubbish. Can you hear me all right? I want to speak to Mel. Will you stop talking while I'm talking? <laughs> Who was it? I don't know, but she's an ignorant git. Just kept talking over me. You rang me voicemail, you dickhead. See? How long's that been on? Hey, language lady. Brilliant. Now I'm out of credit. Here we are, Benny Dorm, here we go! Hey. Oh, oh, that's brilliant. Oh, oh what's going on? <laughs> joking. Watch the hold up. Right, I'm getting off. Where are you going? I'm going to talk to someone. Who are you going to talk to? I don't know, somebody to get this bloody coach moving. Oh, sit down. They'll set off when they're ready to go. The English don't complain enough. If we were in America, this coach would be up in arms. If we were in America, there'd be nothing to complain about because we'd be going somewhere decent. Are you excited? It depends where you go. It depends where you go. It really depends where you go, okay? We've all got our great places, our wondrous places, our okay places, and our shitty places. Um... 
I can tell you within a 30 mile radius of here, there is wonderful places, beautiful places, uh, okay places, really crowded places, and shitty places. All within 30 minutes of me. So it really depends where you go. And I think that's true about anywhere. It's in Michael. I bet you can't wait to get in that pool. No. Ungrateful little swine, and we know where he gets that from. He's not ungrateful. Thanks to you, he thinks he's booked on a seven-day holiday with Freddy Krueger. I don't want to go to Benidorm. I want to go home. Oh, well done. Has no one else got a phone? I said I'd ring him every day. You'll be seeing him soon. It's not far once we get going. He's been here all week on his own. He doesn't mix well with other people. Just because he's a successful businessman doesn't mean to say he's outgoing. He's one of the most painfully shy, introverted people I've ever known. He'd rather die than draw attention to himself. I call bullshit on that one. Oh <laughs> yeah. my god. You don't have to be a cripple to enjoy your holiday! <laughs> oh man. I never understood why, when I first started this show, this this show got some people saying like you're scraping the bottom of the barrel now with uh, UK comedy reactions. I think this show's great. Where do you think you're going? Bocadillo. Bocca what? Bocadillo is sandwich. Time for break. I said you could go for your break when you finish doing the lights. See, lights are finished. What are you talking about, Finish? There are more boxes of light back there than Blackpool Illuminations. No, it's too much. Too much? The lights here are good, yes? It look nice. Too much lights is making this chillon. You say, tacky. Tacky? Si. Tacky is vulgar, crude, without taste. I know what tacky means. OK. Oi, Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen, get back here. What do you call him? Senor Harvey. There's 20 boxes of these in the back. Yeah. There's a single light not used in and around this shop when I get back. The only thing that will be without taste will be you. Because you'll be eating your bocadillo through a straw. Damn. Been threatened by an old man with an earring. Whenever I see an old old man with uh, an earring in his ear, or were two, um, I immediately think, well, this this old man's pretty crazy. Uh, I, it could be judgmental, but <laughs> it's usually they're they're pretty wild, or they had a wild past life. Yeah. I just hope Mel doesn't. Wait a minute, hold on. What did that say? The original, the one and only Vicky Layton. Is that Sticky Vicky? Please tell me that's not Sticky Vicky. I'm scared. I, I'm really scared. Whew. Okay. I'm really worried now. Cheers! Bottoms up! What I was going to say, sorry, I'm pausing a lot this episode, but I was going to say I hope this season we don't see Mel almost die every episode. <laughs> that's... Let's see a healthy Mel this season, is no what offense. I'm trying to say. Oh, it's nice as that. It's called a pink pussy. And that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never had a pink pussy before. They're quite Moorish. I'm surprised I managed to keep mine down. You know, I look up at the top of that building and I still feel a bit queasy. I know what you mean. Jacqueline and I both get dizzy in high heels, so you can imagine how I felt up there. Do you know, I just have to close my eyes and I'm back up there on the top of that roof, terrified of saying the wrong word and being either shot or chucked over the edge by that long-haired lunatic. Yes, I must admit I've had more than a few sleepless nights since... Hang on a minute, you weren't up there. That's what I thought. Wasn't I? No. No, you definitely weren't up there with us. She was drunk down oh, there with you. on the top of the roof with the helicopter and all that. No, you were down here looking after the kids. We haven't got any kids. Not our kids. Do you not remember? Was, you watched it. She was also, yeah, she was also hammered too, so. From down here. Was that that wedding on the beach? Where what's his face turned up on a parachute? Yes. Yeah, I thought I was. Oh, you two must think I'm going mad. 
Not mad? No. More clinically insane. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. <laughs> oh, hi, Matt. You all right? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Could I have a... Right, yeah, that, that'll be fine, thanks. Just checked in. Mm. <laughs> it's still so great to me that he punched Mateo in the face after he slept with his wife that one night. Uh, I don't even know if Mateo remembers, but... Absolutely. A few beers to settle the old jet lag. <laughs> jet lag? Where have you come from? Croydon. It was... Just a joke. All right. Missy's not down yet. Yeah? Forgotten her name. No, no. Um. Well, well, we've we've kind of uh, well, we've separated. I'm here with a friend. Okay. All right. I'm normally off. If he's sympathy, telling the truth. How can you both shut to the sour-faced old cow? <laughs> well, we're still in touch, kind of. Yeah, Mark. Look after that, will ya? I think I've got the squids. The bog's over there, yeah? Uh, yes. <laughs> She's wild. Ha 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 ha! Oh, I was waiting for that! Oh, Mateo's like, oh, yes. Look at Mama Sita go by. Yeah, Martin. Look after that, will ya? I think I've got the squids. <laughs> the bog's over there, yeah? Uh, yes. <laughs> Oh. You've done all right for yourself there, mate. Where'd you find that one? No, 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 she's not, um... We're, we're not, uh... Well, uh... Yeah, I, uh... I suppose I could have done worse. This girl, she's with you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mateo's like, what the hell? Settle, that one's yours. Don't want a sunbed. I want a scooter. Why can't we go to Mel's shop now? Just lie down, ma'am. Relax, you're on holiday. Yeah, chill out, for God's sake. I don't know what you're sitting down for. Mel will have plenty for you to be getting on with in the new shop. I'm on me holidays. You are an employee of Mel Harvey Leisure Industries Limited. Not that he's ever had a word of thanks for giving you the job. My dad didn't want a job from Mel. Exactly. Never asked that man for a penny. He didn't want a job full stop. He was right annoyed when Mel took him on. My dad said we'll get all of Mel's money when he dies. But I don't want him to die. Don't tell fibs, Michael. When have I ever said that? Every time you've seen Mel. Get in that pool. <laughs> You're supposed to be on holiday. Here it comes. The Mark! hero. Mel! Here we are. Love's young dream. And dreams have a special name. They're called nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. God, I'm gonna puke. Oh, Mel. Mel! Yeah, she really loves hey, Mel. Hey, cheeky Charlie, I got something for you. Oh, thanks, Mel. Thought you were gonna call me when you landed. The battery on my phone was dead. Oh, I'll charge you up, no danger. <laughs> Do you mind you're upsetting me, son? Talking to charge you. Not see your scooters you came in. I left it plugged in at reception. No. Oh, come on, let's get it. Mel, can I come? Of course you can. Come on. Yeah, our flight were fine, thanks. Yeah, it's nice to see you and all. Ignorant get. And if he thinks I'm going to be running round after him in his shop while I'm on my holidays, he can piss off! Well, you do work for him now. Yeah, not while I'm on my holidays, I don't. Well, if you don't mind, it's been a long morning. I've had a very nice bottle of beer. And now I'm going to get me head down for half an hour in the sun. He's supposed to be opening a shop here. What have I just said? I think he expects you to help him while you're here. Yeah, well, I'm not. He can hardly open a shop on his own. Oh, for fuck's sake! Chitty chitty bang bang. Hey, look at this. You're not going to be on that for this whole holiday, are you? Yeah, give out some of these leaflets. It's the grand opening of Mel's new. She's going to be the most annoying. <laughs>
She's not only going to be annoying to them in the show, she's going to be annoying to me. If she, meh, meh, meh. Uh, it's going to be like my annoying intro for some of you people. Shop six o'clock tonight. You can shove it. Oh, give him here. Mel said for you to go meet him in reception. I'm off for a spin. Can I come, Nanny? No, you friggin' can't. It's not a toy. <laughs> Backgammon. Oh, I'm stuck on this one as well. What's the clue? Three down. Comedy actor sang my boomerang won't come back. Oh, I know this one. Rolf Harris. Charlie Drake. It was never Charlie Drake. She's the one that does the gardening without a bra. Oh, you're thinking of Alan Titchmarsh. It could be Tommy Walsh. It's got nothing to do with gardening. My boomerang won't come back was sung by Charlie Drake. Twelve letters. Why don't you leave it blank and try one that goes across it? It's Charlie Drake! Five across. Oh, we won't get this one. Record producer originated the wall of sound technique. Evil can evil! Oh, no! That's the wall of death. Phil Silvers. Your turn. Oh, I used to love Phil Silvers in that program. What was it called? Uh, Inspector Gadget. Sergeant Billcourt. Eleven letters. Yeah, Phil Silvers, it fits. It's Phil Spector. It's all right, son, we've got it. You've not got it. You've got it wrong. It's Phil <laughs> Spector. Who played Willy Wonka in the 1971 film Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Gene Wilder. No, it was a fella. He had a top hat, I remember that. Gene Wilder. It's Gene, spelt with a G. Oh, was he the cat in the hat as well? Did you ever see Fritz the cat? Quite saucy for a cartoon. <laughs> What's wrong with you all? You're all <laughs> just sitting here talking rubbish. You've not got one of those questions right. It doesn't really matter. Of course it matters. What if I threw a five in the phone said, well, it's more or less a double six. I wouldn't mind. Well, you should mind. Or else, or else what's the point of it all? <laughs> Johnny Vegas, his character in this needs to, needs to just chill. He just needs to woosah, woosah, Johnny. Come on, just relax for, just relax for one episode. Well, it's only a game. Only a game? Only a game. Uh oh, here we go. Did John McEnroe say it's only a game when he lost to be on Borg in the 1980 tiebreaker Wimbledon final? Did Chelsea say it's only a game when he lost 4 0 to Man United in the 94 FA Cup? Did Daley Thompson say it's only a game when he came forth in the decathlon in 1988 after winning gold in 80 and 84? Just chill, man. <clears throat> Everyone I said, I can resist anything but temptation. <laughs> it, ten letters. Oh, shut up! Oh. Everybody in Benidorm thinks you're a wackadoodle, Johnny. Just woosaw. Woosaw. Don French? <laughs> it's a big fucking pool, man. I never really noticed that until now. Excuse me? Have you got Wi Fi here? We got Scrabble behind the reception, but I think some of the letters are missing. No, Wi Fi, you know, wireless internet. You're joking. You look if the lift's weak. Oh, there you are. Looking at this is, uh, it says this was made in 2009. I don't remember Wi Fi being like a thing back in 2009, or do I? I don't know. I'm trying to remember if Wi Fi was a thing. If it was, it was a very early thing, I think. But now it's like every place has Wi-Fi. 
if a place, at least uh, here in the States, if a place doesn't have Wi-Fi, it's like, oh man, all hell can break loose. For Pretty you. Pretty quick. What sort of a dump is this? You haven't even got Wi-Fi? You shouldn't be checking emails, you're on holiday. I wasn't checking my email. Just trying to find somewhere to go out tonight. All right, well, there's Neptunes. That's mostly karaoke, but they sometimes have a singer on or a quiz. I'm not staying in this old fogey zone. People sitting in them spacher chariots, listening to Des O'Connor, drinking pale ale with a Gaviscon chaser. Right, well, I'm not really one for nightclubs, to be honest. No worries, I can go on my own. We're not trying at the hip, are we? Uh, no. No, we're not. Can you lend me 20... Um, actually, better make that 30 euros. I haven't actually got any cash with me. You've come on holiday with no money. Well, this is all inclusive. Right. I'll just spend the evening sitting with a family of fat retards, wearing kiss me quick hats and singing Agadoo. Like wow! Wow! She is wild! Wildest character in the show. Uh, how does... I don't think I've had... It when I'm reacting to things, I don't, I don't think... I don't know how YouTube deals with the R word. I know how they deal with the C word, but I might have to bleep that out. Um, look, I think all words should be included in YouTube videos, but it's, it's YouTube. They, they get to set the rules. So I just, I try to follow them like a good Samaritan, but I don't know how, cause that's, that's a pretty offensive word here in the States right now. And it has been for the last 10 years. So I don't know. I'll, I'll probably end up bleeping it out. So, but you guys probably know what the word is. I actually have got some money, but um, well, it's kind of for emergencies. My mum used to say to me, "Always keep tuppence in your shoe. You never know when you might need to call home." Tuppence? How old are you? Eee, I can remember when you could go out, buy a new suit, have a night on the dials, fish supper, taxi home, and still have change from a fiver. <laughs> I'm 32. I'll catch up with you later. We could have a stroll up the road. There's a nightclub in the shape of a spaceship. We could look at that. I said I'll catch up with you later. Yeah, right. Somebody's got the scrabble, but I found a pack of cards in the skipping room. Are you taking the piss? Suit yourself. No, actually, leave them out, will you? I can't find anyone to have a game of snap with. I can always hang myself. You wouldn't be the first. She not happy. She needs some humility. Watching the tea boil, are you? <laughs> Ow! Yeah, you idiot. It's probably so hot. I don't even have a teapot in my home. I got the kettle now. I don't even have a teapot in my home, but I know how hot the uh, boiled water can be. He's he's astounded. Can't believe you've not been in that pool yet. I'm not bothered. Mm. Couldn't keep you out of it last year. Does me not like me? Of course she does. What a thing to say. Your nana's funny. She's she's never been very good at showing people she loves them. Yeah. Didn't Hitler have the same problem? My nana said that the bogeyman's going to get me when I go to sleep tonight. But I don't believe in the bogeyman. Good, because he doesn't exist. Shame we can't say the same about my nana. Then why did she say it? It was just a joke. My nana's jokes are rubbish. This guy's traumatised. What are you doing? Mel's waiting for you in reception. I've just taken something out of one of the suitcases that might bring a smile to this young man's sorry-looking face. Is it my nana's head? What is it? <laughs> well, you won't know unless you take it out of the bag, will you? It's a book. I know. It's remote control. I know. 
Oh, my God. Can I play with it now? No, I only brought it with us so you could look at it. Give us it back. No way. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Oh, aren't you lovely? I feel like he's trying to, to win back the affections of his son and may, uh, make him see like a cooler person than Mel right now. Just a hunch, but... I mean, it's pretty obvious, but... Mm, do you think so? Mm. <laughs> do you mind? Stop it, not here. Come on, you've got a business meeting with Mel. Mm, got a bit of business here I want to sort out first. <laughs> mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> That's cute. That thing barely moves. Yeah, great, thanks. Cute little boat. Thanks, my dad bought it me. <laughs> oh my god, it's got teeth! Look at that! I'm not gonna lie, that thing looks awesome and I would love to have one, especially here in Florida, where uh, there's lots of water and lots of pools around. So I would love to have one of these. <laughs> What are you doing? This is not allowed. No boats on the swimming pool. It's not a boat, it's an overcraft. Give it here. Here we go again, <laughs> round three. It's not allowed. It's only 11. Oh, just be careful. Get when you're in the fuck out. You can't. Oh, you've done your dick. That cost 200 quid. <laughs> That's great. Oh man. There's three rounds between Mateo and Johnny Vegas. I I never remember Johnny Vegas's character's name. Uh, there's plenty of characters I don't remember that names, but between the uh the rivalry in this episode, it's Mateo 2, Johnny 1. So Johnny just got a comeback victory right there. <laughs> Uh oh, she died. You go find Mel. You come with me, and you grow up. <laughs> oh, there you are. You took your time. Yeah. Listen, Mel. I, I think there's been a bit of a misunderstanding. Oh, I. Yeah. When you came out here to open the shop, I assumed if you'd wanted me to be involved in it, I'd have come out here with you. How could you do that? You've been looking after the sunbed shops at home. Yeah, exactly. So now, I'm on my holidays. Right. Well, if you can afford to have a week without pay... Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. You said you were going to pay me for this week. But I was going to pay you because you were going to be working. I'm on holiday with my family. Do you think I've made Mel Harvey Leisure Industries Limited what it is today by going on holiday? I'm not spending my holiday renting out electric wheelchairs to fat, bone idle alcoholics who are too lazy to walk to the pub. <laughs> oh, slowly creeping in is, is one of them. All right. <laughs> Wasn't talking about you. I didn't mean you. That's probably glandular, isn't it? <laughs> You're not even that fat. Oh, God. I've seen worse. <laughs> I mean, bigger. Uh, I've been putting on weight myself. I never said I want you to sit in this shop. I wanted to appoint you head of publicity and promotions. It would only take a couple of hours a day. I'm sorry, Mel, it's not fair on the kids if I... Head of what? 
publicity and promotion. Out and about, meeting the public. The showbiz glamorous side of the operation. I wouldn't expect you to sit in a shop all day. Head of publicity and promotion? Absolutely. A couple of hours a day? Never more than three. Well, why didn't you say? <laughs> I don't know if he's going to like this, though. Whoa! Look at that! In the heart of Benidorm. Opening, 6 p.m. He's definitely not going to like it. That's wild. The horns make it look like it has an ass. Uh, I guess if dad is making all this money, you gotta do something as the son-in-law to help out. I like the English Mel, flag on the back. What exactly is Nick doing? I told you, a bit of publicity for this film. Right. It's just that he's been gone a while now. He's lucky to have a job. After scabbing off the social for so long, he should be on his knees thanking Mel for giving him back a bit of dignity. Oh, God. Where were you? He looks like a chubby Ric Flair. He really does. Woo! You what? You weren't at the shop. I oh, know, I closed it till the grand opening. I needed the ladder to get off the bike. What have you been doing? <laughs> I have been driving round Benidorm for the last three hours on a 20 foot high bike looking for somewhere to get off it. Your face is all red. I know it's all red. I've been baking in the sun covered in bloody tinfoil all afternoon. Excuse me. We were just wondering is it fancy dress in that tunes this evening? Only nobody's told us. Piss off. <laughs> when you come to the front of the building, ask someone to get me. But yeah, I'm not stupid, I thought of that. But I couldn't turn the bloody music off, nobody could hear what I was saying. Excuse me, whatever it is you're selling, you can't do it here. I don't think I've ever seen him this mad. I've seen him mad before, but not this mad. I don't think. Maybe you guys can remind me of a time when he was more mad, but... This one's way up there for him. I'm not selling anything. I'm on my holiday. Well, I'm supposed to be. Come on, let's go in. We'll get the kids up. They're having a siesta. Hang on a minute. I've not finished yet. So I kept driving to find some shade so I didn't burn to death. Went to top off a perfect day. I realised I was about to run out of petrol. Well, how did you get down from this bike, then? I had to drive into the caravan park and jump off onto somebody's roof. Oh, well, they are, then. No problem. Hang on. I've still not finished. I don't know how old this caravan was, but I went straight through the roof. Oh, my God. <laughs> but the good news is nobody was home. The bad news is it was locked from the outside. It took me another bloody hour to get out of it. You haven't left that bike in the caravan park, have you? Left it there. I'll wrap it around your bloody neck if I see it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He looks like an angry old lady, man. Crossed with Ric Flair. Woo. Oh, man. <laughs> yep. What are you all laughing at? You've got a big mark across your head. <laughs> right, you can all frig off. That's it. We're going home. Come on, I've had oh. enough. We're getting oh. into it. We're going home. Man, he shoved her pretty hard. Fucked up. Apparently, he's been riding round Benidorm on a 20 foot high runaway bike. All right. Yeah, well, you can kick your nose off. I want nothing to do with you. I want nothing to do with you. It's not fancy dress, then? No. Nice, Charlie. Your father was never lucky on the roads, either. In the early 80s, he bought a car that would only turn left. It once took him two days to come back from Asda. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 
Oh, 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 oh. You see, they found Gary Glitter. I wonder where he's been dressed like. <laughs> they found Gary Glitter. I still, I, I don't think I've ever seen him this mad, man. Wow. He was really mad. No idea. Let's face it, the one thing that family was lacking was an angry, oven-ready cowboy. So we go into this shop opening, six o'clock. I think I'd rather drink bleach with a silic bang chaser. Three drinks. I want a free glass of Spanish paint stripper. I'll shimmy over to the pool bar and get one myself, thank you. Says free champagne for everyone. Champagne? Oh, that lit his eyes up. Come on. Yep. Grab your pashmina. We've got no time at all to get ready. He does have a taste for the higher end stuff. Oh, hello. You all right? Yes, I thought I'd upset you. No, you didn't. I just didn't realise we were staying somewhere that made Anne Frank's attic look like Disneyland. There's plenty to do. I got some leaflets of the surrounding area. I thought we might have a look. Got some money from the cash machine. Waterfalls of Colossa? Cayosa. It's about 20 minutes from here. That's 20 minutes from Benidorm? In what? A Harrier jet? In a car. I think it looks terribly romantic. Oh, I, I didn't mean, um... Well, let's get one thing straight, Martin. We came here as friends, not in law. Absolutely. I just mean the area looks romantic. Not that you and I would, you know, suddenly... <laughs> Mind you in saying that. You never know where friendships can lead. <laughs> what? It, it, like, he said that him and his wife are separated, but I is he telling the truth about that? I mean, he seems like a pretty honest guy, so... I'm inclined to believe him. But then again, this is a comedy show, and it is Benidorm, so <laughs> who knows? But I'm curious if there's going to be anything more mentioned about it. In the meantime, what about this place? It's a shop opening for mobility scooters. I can't be certain, but I think it'll be mainly old people. Yeah, old people and free champagne. You like champagne? Well, I do, but... I have to be careful. Really? Oh, yeah. It can have a dangerous effect on me. In what way? <laughs> Come well, on, it has man. Been known to make me, how can I put it? Slightly loose. You don't mean anally. goes oh this dude I don't think anything that's come out of the, that man's mouth has made me laugh so hard oh <laughs> fuck it. why did his brain go to that how can I put it slightly loose you don't mean anally Oh, God, sorry, I see what you mean. No, uh, oh. sorry. Um, it's just, I used to oh. have this girl at university, and if she drank too much red wine, she would, um... Well, anyway, you don't need to know about that. Oh. Yes, yes, champagne. Great idea. I'll, um, I'll go and put some clean trousers on. Is that what your mate at university used to say to you? Sorry? Oh, right, I see, yes. <laughs> very good, very good. Uh... Right. I'll go and get changed, and then we can go out. And I promise I'll try and keep up tonight. And I'll try not to shit myself. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh, God. This is a wild woman. She's checking out her boobs. And she gave it a smile. Oh, God. This character's a great addition to this show. Great addition. Oh, definitely the... Uh, way better than Mel, that's for sure. Even though I, I kind of like Mel a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, hi, dear. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Queen Boomer back from seeing Barbie. Hey. Wasn't that great? Wasn't that great? How no. was it? You'll get this is the intermission of the reaction, I guess. <laughs> okay. We're having a. I'm watching the show Benadorm. Which okay. actually, they've requested that you jump in on oh, it. Oh, really? Which is the. Uh, I'm far into it, though, so I'll Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like you only have like a few minutes left. Yeah. But uh, how was Barbie? It wasn't that good. No. Even my uh, three friends who are super girly were like. Really? It just. It was okay. It wasn't a bad movie. It just, like, I feel like it dragged on. How long was it? I don't know. I think two hours. Yeah. We also were supposed to see the 11.15 one. They were all late, so we saw the 11.40 one. But yeah. I don't know. It just, like, dragged on. And they did that thing in movies or in shows where they, like, break the fourth wall. Oh, yeah. And I hate that. It makes me, as an audience, like, it makes me feel like you think the audience is dumb. That you have to, like, turn to them and be like, and that's why, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't you like that either. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it is, a, it, sometimes that does work in comedies, though. It wasn't a comedy? Yeah. like. Oh, no, it was a comedy. It was, don't <sighs> take your young kids. It was not a children movie. Um, it's PG-13. I definitely think, like, your teenager, your 12-year-old, 10-year-old, maybe, like, that and above. But, like, there was a couple moms there with, like, a 5-year-old daughter and a 5-year-old boy. Yeah. And they said the MF word. They bleeped okay. it, but, um, like, Ken came down, and she was like, hey, mother, beep. Um, yeah, so spoiler alert, so I'm sorry. Um, what else? They talked about, there's a weird Barbie. She's literally called Weird Barbie. Really? Yeah. I was like, that's me. <laughs> I mean, me if I was Barbie. Because someone played with her too rough, but she's a weird Barbie. Oh, and, somebody played with her too rough, Yeah, right? so her hair's, like, cut, and she always does the splits for some reason. But, um, oh my <laughs> she, god, um, this movie sounds terrible. She wa she kept saying how she wanted to see Ken's tan smooth bulge under his pants. So, yeah, not for not for te te under 10, I think. Wow, but and it was really weird. It was kind of like the Ken's versus the Barbies, yeah, yeah, and it definitely had to do with like feminism and the patriarchy. Yeah. And it, like, at one point, all the Kens took over, again, spoiler alert, took over by Barbie Land. And, like, what the men wanted for Barbie Land was so stupid, but so funny. What was it? Like, that, it got kind of funny at that point. Spoilers, if you so, guys, yeah. Spoil, yeah, spoilers. So they took over, like, the, so in Barbie Land, the women rule everything. Like, they're the garbage people, they're the president, they're everything. And Kens are just kind of, like, dumb beach guys. They're just like, eh, but the beach... And yeah. I just know how to beach and rollerblade and hold my surfboard. I don't know how to surf, but I know how to hold it. That was, like, all the guys. And then they take over. Well, they go to the real world, and Ken's like, there's this great thing called patriarchy. We have to bring it back to Barbie land. <laughs> and then it got kind of funny, because he's, like, in a... He's, like, not wearing anything but shorts and a fur coat. And he's like, this is my Dango Casa house. And they're like, you don't need to say casa and house. And he's like, well, this is my pad. And they have, like, horses running slowly in the background. And, like, all these, and monster trucks. Because he was like, oh, this is great. This is what guy stuff is. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so it was kind of like, so the Barbie, the Kens, like, took over. And all the women were, like, just, let, like, got brainwashed. And they were like, yeah, we love serving Kens. So they had to, like, unbrainwash the women. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And <laughs> wow. It was just, it was very strange. It was a very strange movie. That sounds like a really weird movie. Yeah. It was. Um, but yeah, then like they got in a fight and none of them knew how to fight. So they just started like breaking out into like two of them were dancing in the background. One yeah. was just like riding a horse on a stick yeah. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. So it did get Okay. So funny, well, but... what would you rather have people see uh, Barbie or Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer. Thank you. All right, that's the end, <laughs> that's that's the end of the review. That's uh, we saw Oppenheimer <laughs> yesterday, so it was fantastic. Um, not yeah. a movie for everybody, but it was still really good. But, oh, the part where they broke the fourth wall, another part where they broke the fourth wall was they were, um, Margaret Robbie was complaining because, like, oh, she gets cellulite in part of the movie. Yeah. And she's not, like, perfect Barbie anymore. 
and they're like, no woman is perfect. And then they like stop and they're like, maybe you shouldn't have cast Margaret Robbie if you wanted to, to like show really? this message. Yeah, like they did that. And uh, I was like, Margaret no. Robbie probably doesn't even think she's perfect. No human being is perfect, you know? Oh, there's some people that think they're perfect, yeah. But, okay. But, yeah. like... Unfortunately. Yeah. But it was stuff like that, where it's like, you don't need to do that. Like, you don't need to break the fourth wall. Yeah. And they're like, oh, feminism is alive in America. Is it, though? I was like, okay, stop looking at me. <laughs> like, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I gotta get back to this. Okay. So, I'll probably be done in about... How much time we got? Probably about 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna heat up spaghetti. Okay, love you. <laughs> love you. Queen Boomer, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what's going on with the rest of Benidorm. Yes, we saw Oppenheimer yesterday. Uh, of the Christopher Nolan movies, I think it's probably either his second best or his best. And he's got a lot of them. Or maybe third best, I don't know. But it's very good. And I think it's a movie that all young people should watch. But anyway, back to the reaction. Come on, we're going to be late. I'm telling you, if I could have got a cheap flight, we'd all be home by now. Oh, don't talk rubbish. Come on, Michael, put your feet up. Dad? Yes, son? You said it'd go away. But your head's still two different colours. <laughs> Couldn't you put a hat on? He looks all right, Dick. Nothing like your own like son that. taking like the piss out of you. You're trying to say he doesn't look a dick. Don't talk about your father like that. Oh, thanks for all your support. It looks funny. All right, thank you. That's enough. My mum might have an headscarf in a bag if you ask her. Headscarf? Who do you think I am, Pirates of the Frigging Caribbean? <laughs> Champagne? Champagne? Por favor. Hi, uh. Well, have you lot been? We've been waiting for you. We got here as soon as we Another ten minutes, you missed Maddie's big entrance. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. You know, you've still got that big stripe across your body, don't you? Man, this episode feels long. Maybe she again? Of course it is. But... Vicky Layton. People call her Sticky Vicky. She's the Benny of legend. Wait, what? Ready? Of course. Maybe she again? Vicky Layton. People call her Sticky Vicky. She's the Benny of legend. Yeah, yeah, oh, no. Is she going to make a speech? She speaks no English. Oh, brilliant. She does not need to speak. She was a classically trained dancer. She moves with a grace and sophistication very few are blessed with. You can't still be dancing. <laughs> no, she now does a magic act. Oh, and it's one hell of a magic act. Yes, it is. I haven't seen it, but Don Donald explained what it was in season one. Wow. Uh, I'm scared. I I'm really scared. Boomer I I'm... All right. I think she'd do a couple Don't of tricks if we asked her. Probably best if she just cuts the ribbon. He changed. Mateo changes hair. Hiya. Hola. Welcome. We don't pay, we're family. Mick. Well, I'm just making it clear to him. Thank you. Hola. Hola. Oh, he's jelly. He's very jelly. Look at that. <laughs> if I can have your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I'm not one for big speeches, but I'd like to thank everyone for coming here to mark this the opening of the very first Mel's Mobility Shop. Yay! Yay! You don't have to be a cripple to enjoy your holiday. Whoa. From small, lightweight scooters... Larger, more industrial strength model. Oh my god, it's like a scooter fashion show. We have something to suit all requirements and all budgets. We're also proud to introduce, for the very first time in Benidorm, our exclusive custom range. Show a loved 
Man, just having fun, though. Mel's mobility invalid chair. Although, as we've already established, you don't have to have anything wrong with you to hire from us. Although, in saying that, uh, if you no longer have the use of your legs, we won't discriminate. Although, I'm not sure how you get here in the first place. Uh, anyway, let's crack straight on with the grand opening. And to help us do that, we have someone who I'm told is a real Benidorm legend. Please welcome Miss Vicky Layton. I'm so scared. I am so, I've never been more scared in a reaction video, honestly. I've never been more scared. Because if Sticky Vicky is... We haven't even seen her yet, but from season one, we've heard of her, and she is notorious. Please don't show any of this stuff. Oh, <laughs> I've seen her before somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, Vicky Layton. Oh. She has a kind of cabaret act where she, um. What? She, she, she pulls flowers, scarves, all kinds of things out from her. From her what? Out from her front. From her gate. fanny. Wait, did he out say it? From her what? Out from the front gate. Front, front gate? You know, her, her lady awning. Lady awning? Mom, what are you talking about? She pulls various objects from within her flappage. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Where did my list go? There you are. Flappage. Got it. All right. Got it. Yes. Yes, that's um... Yeah. Honestly, it's like trying to get blood out of a stone. I feel like she's gonna end up getting with Mateo. At least we didn't really see it. Well, the hell, how much did he say them lights cost? 300 euros. That was money well spent. I can nearly see a couple of them. Well, I suppose it'll look better at night. Rubbish! Oh, I'd also just like to mention that anyone who hires a scooter today will be entitled to a 5% discount on any future hire within a six week period. Now, obviously, this offer is subject to certain terms and conditions. Now, all of which can be found on our website, which is www. Now, what the payment hell do you want? <laughs> I think your shop's on fire. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! That really sucks. I know it's just a show, but I I do feel, but even though Mel, will, he, he seems like the most financially. Uh, Secured one of the entire group by a lot, but it still sucks when you see something like that happen, I guess. Jacqueline's father used to be a magician. I'm sure you both have a lot in common. Oh no, they're taking oh, Sticky yeah. Vicky How much time no. have you got before your first show tonight? You know. Ah.
<laughs> so that's why they call you Sticky Vicky. <laughs> Been a dorm, longer, bigger budget, <clears throat> but I think the best part of Ben a dorm, um, so far in my opinion, well, it was great to see Sticky Vicky back, I guess, but uh, the the woman that's with God, I can't remember these characters' names. I think Ben a dorm is the show I have toughest uh, the toughest time remembering characters' names. Mm -hmm. But the new addition, the lady in the green dress, she was fantastic. It's, uh, it seems like she's going to be the wildest character on the show from here on out. And she's, it's definitely throwing a screwball into the show to keep the, all the other characters on edge. I thought she was fantastic. And um, she said some pretty fucked up things, too, by the way. Um, but it's a comedy show, I understand. And, um, yeah, she seems like a wild one. So... She's probably going to be the highlight of this season. Um, don't spoil anything for me, though, please. Because I don't want to um, have to read something where it uh, reveals what's going to happen in a later episode with her character or any character. Um, but, uh, yeah, fantastic first episode to season three. Uh, Mel's going to recover. I'm pretty sure of that. But uh, is there anything else that... I think I should cover the rivalry between Mel, no, not Mel, um, Mateo and Johnny Vegas. It will go on. Right now, Mateo is up two to one, but Johnny had the best victory. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, with that, I'm curious to see what happens moving forward. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Um, remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and uh, I'll see you next time for another Benidorm reaction. These episodes are going to be long. So it seems like so might take a little little more time than usual for me to get these out but uh, hang in there hope to see you again soon and have a great day today peace out